All right, guys. So, summer games presentation. Everybody was looking forward to it. It really is like the kickoff of big summer announcements for what's coming in the near future and beyond. Jeff Keeley always has this presentation. As a matter of fact, there's been times where there's pretty good little moments, good little announcements, things in general like that. It has its place in gaming history, but it's also very polarizing. A lot of gamers have opinions. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people like it. Some people ap appreciate the efforts that Jeff Keighley does trying to, I guess, build a community through the world of gaming and things of that nature. But everybody's going to have their thoughts, and that's what today's video is about. So there's not going to be any fancy editing. I'm not going to splice in the trailers of the announcements and stuff. I'm going to give my thoughts on today's presentation, but it's going to be more focused on what he can do better uh, to present this because I, I know a lot of people have their opinions out there some people tweet him directly like every year around this time rgt85 somehow gets into a full-blown conversation with jeff Keeley on twitter and then makes a video about it jeff Keeley ain't gonna reply to me <laughs> i ain't no rgt85 but you know rgt often brings good points good advice on how to improve the presentation and stuff because let's be real well, it is admirable that there is a ton of games announced. And yeah, there was a lot of games announced just today. Uh, sometimes the presentation just falls really flat. It, it loses the attention of people. It doesn't keep you hype. It's just kind of, it's like watching Monday Night Raw. Sometimes it's just a little too long or it's just filled with filler or just like too much talking instead of just getting to the bangers. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to give our thoughts. There was a few huge announcements that were presented that were pretty good little surprises. I'm going to use my phone for the notes that I have um, because why not? There was a lot of stuff answered on here. Um, it was like a two-hour presentation, and it started in the middle of the freaking day. Like, I know it's summer. You know what I mean? But it's a Thursday. People are at work. People are busy. I wasn't even home when this damn thing started. And, and yeah, it's summer, but come on, man. You got to give people uh, a, a better time. Like, this is on the internet. There's no reason why it couldn't be primetime online. It's not like this was on TV. They could have had this at least start 7 p.m. You know what I mean? So they had a huge list of games listed on here. There were some heavy hitters again. We had an update on Street Fighter. Uh, Street Fighter 6, Guile was revealed, longtime favorite. I liked the way that he looked. That was a pretty good little trailer. We had Aliens Dark Descent, which is a top-down squad-based shooter um, coming out on last-gen and current-gen, as well as uh, PC. Uh, you know what I mean? We had the Callisto Protocol, which is a game that a lot of people have been mentioning and talking about. It's like a survival horror game, sci-fi. We got more information about uh, Modern Warfare 2 looks pretty badass there was a flashback to release there's witch fire front fort solace routine uh, outside outriders world slayer stormgate high water american arcadia then it became kind of like indie heavy which there's n there's nothing wrong with indie heavy guys if, if you watch my channel you know for the last years i've always kind of kind of you know i guess been partial to indies and, 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 you know, there's some heavy hitters out there. You get the, for every Hollow Knight, Shovel Knight, or Cuphead, you get a Pooplers or, you know, a Room in the Night Sky or some kind of, you know, for every f five good indie games, you get like a thousand shovelware crap. Let's be honest here. But people don't watch presentations like this that are hyped up to be like the summer of games, the best games coming, the huge announcements. We don't watch it for indies. No offense, I, I love independent developers and stuff, but Nintendo does it right. They got the Indie World Showcase, and then they have their Nintendo Directs separated. No offense again to indie developers. You guys are the lifeblood that carries gaming when there's no big, huge releases. But do we need to see Goat Simulator 3? Yeah, sure, it's a cult favorite and stuff. Do we need to see American Arcadia? Do we need to see, uh, you know... Well, that, that last game they actually ended the presentation with, um, what was it called? 
Uh, I can't even think of what it was off the top of my head, but it was just like, what the hell are we looking at? Like, why are we wasting so much time slowing it down to look at some of these titles? You know, I could understand like maybe like third party titles like the Capcom Arcade Collection, which looks freaking fantastic as the uh, Mega Man 2 Power Fighters as Street Fighter 1 on it. It's coming out on that. Um, there's some good JRPGs I've never heard of, uh, you know, but a lot of times, you know, when you slow it down and you get these like, how do I describe these games? Like these games that are just like, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna refrain from the comment, but you guys know when you get these weird indie games that it's like, the fuck is what the fuck am I looking at? Like, what is the point of this? Why why is it like you know, like some kind of social commentary fucking narrative driven game instead of you know some heavy hitters out there now there was some good info for example we got a update on shredder's revenge it's coming out a lot fucking sooner than i realized it's coming out within the next week i think uh the 18th was it uh what i saw correctly and it's going to be on game pass so that's fucking awesome but on top of that you know it's just a lot of this stuff was PC stuff that I'm not interested in. We finally saw an update on Cuphead, which was fucking fantastic. Midnight Suns, uh, they showed some stuff. It includes Spider-Man in there and Venom as, uh, you know, and Possessed Hulk. There was a lot of JRPGs. The Quarry coming out tomorrow. They kind of just did like a quick reminder about it. But in between like all these game announcements and stuff, it just seemed like there was a lot of pointless filler. And I get it. Jeff Keighley wants to, uh, I guess, give credit to the developers, to the artists, to the people that make these games. And there's there's nothing wrong with that. On, in all honesty, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to build a community and acknowledging the people that that make these games that make the, um, the, the the stuff that we play that are part of this bigger uh, community. You know, it, it goes way beyond just us, just gamers, just YouTubers. And, and it's good on him, good on him, but it's, it's just summer game fest. Uh, it just always seems like it needs a lot more polishing to do. Uh, now I'm going to look at some of this stuff right here. Um, it just seems that, you know, like here, here's a perfect comment right here. This is from somebody named at Inferno Omni. And they said, uh, Summer Game Fest was a bit of a snooze fest. Expectations are low, but I was still disappointed. And I was calling it Summer Games because I think that's what they called it like last year or something like that. But Summer Game Fest, it just kind of, just kind of takes too long. Now, the one huge announcement that I think could have ground broke everything was accidentally leaked by Sony, which was Last of Us, uh, you know, the remake you know, that's going to be game of the year this next year. We all know it. Um, but <laughs> expectations for something that's hyped up as big as Summer Game Fest, especially when E3 is not a thing this year, um, it kind of didn't meet the hype. They had They had the potential right there. They had the effect. You know, they had the world there. They had everybody waiting and wanting more and while there was good announcements it just it's not executed well um people it, it, man you know bless jeff jeff Keeley's heart i'm gonna say that bless bless his heart but there ain't no way that every year he leaves that event knowing that he drug it out too long that he could have did it because if 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 I'm sitting here watching something and, you know, just being like, okay, okay, okay. I can imagine how he feels on the stage as somebody that's hosting something. It, it, you know, it's easy to sit here and be an armchair quarterback and be like, oh, if I was running this event, I would have did this and that. And I guess, you know, he's only limited to which companies want to do work with him. Because I, I don't even think Nintendo did any single thing on this. This literally felt like, indie developers and last of us and 
you know, Capcom. That's what it felt like. I, I don't even think I recall seeing anything Sega. I don't recall seeing anything from Xbox because they have their own showcase coming up. So it was like I was actually surprised Last of Us was shown on this. Unless they paid money to get that groundbreaking announcement. But Sony already leaked it. So what was the point? You know what I mean? On top of that. Um, I don't think we're going to see anybody make a video giving positive thoughts about this. And I'm I'm really trying not to be um, upset about it. Because going in, truthfully, I didn't have expectations. Uh, you know, one of my buddies earlier was like, hey, the summer summer games fest is about to start and i was like oh really and i was like well fuck i'm not even home you know i'm i'm going and i had to take care of errands today i had to go to you know the dmv i had to go to walmart i had to do everything but go and watch this because i going in i was just not excited i was not like oh i have to watch this i have to you know what i mean like even even the capcom announcement of street fighter 6 a few days ago or last week was more exciting than what we saw today. Like, sure, it was cool to see Guile, but... You know what I mean? It's like... I don't know. I, I get it, and I appreciate the effort, but it just... There's not enough hype behind this. There was good game reveals. I mean, there's some stuff, again, that I'm interested in, but... Just the presentation was just not executed right. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you if you watched all this video of me rambling. Uh, appreciate the support. Y'all have a good one.